Let's see how many of you out there are, are smart fellers and not just fart smellers. Where the heck is this mine? Huh? I'm trying to give you clues, but I'm not going to tell you. Ah, the word people got me. Somebody help. Watch out, boy. <laughs> 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 We're in quartzite here. Uh, you have alteration of quartzite. You can see you've had a lot of seepage in this section right here, where it's actually started to break down the quartzite and alter it. This is a good example of hydrothermal alteration. You're gonna see a lot of that in here. And whenever we get to areas where I think that there's gold deposition, I'm gonna show you that and any other mineral symbols I can find while we're down here. Remember I told you about the shear zones, micro shears. There's many faults running through this entire mountain. And usually you'll have what's called fault gouge right up against it. And these are called slick and side. You can see the striations in it. And sometimes there are mineral assemblages that are precipitated out in this fault gouge. You're gonna hear that a lot in your USGS reports. Nice cut. See this? We're still going through quartzite. This is, uh, I know it looks vertical, but because it's got a slight angle to it, this would be considered a foot wall. More shear zoning. Here you can see where the quartzite has been altered and fractured. It's because there's a fault that's running right through here. So it's what it's done is it's, it's crushed the rock. And now if hydrothermal fluids were to come up and fill in these gaps and voids, it would be cemented breccia. A lot of times you can find mineralization in the fine ground mass that cements these fractured rocks together. This is a perfect place for hydrothermal fluids to, to be traveling up through. This is a good conduit, so to speak, for them to travel through. And that's why you have a lot of your, your gold deposits in brecciated zones. One of the dangers of exploring abandoned mines is rock fall or slabbing as the old timers used to call it. You really, really need to be on your P's and Q's when you're exploring these old mines. Now, right now, the only thing holding this giant rock up is a small two by six, a real two by six right there. See that? In the first hundred feet of a lot of these adits, you're gonna find bats. And I don't wanna wake them up because if you disturb them, it destroys their sleep cycle. They wake up, they become agitated, they can't go back to sleep and they can die. So we're gonna go through quietly. This is another problem that you have with abandoned mines is you have a lot of what's called a winds in the floor. Basically, it's a shaft that will connect one level to another and that's exactly what this does. We're on one level and there's another level about 20 feet below us and this one connects the two. Now they drove a ray straight up, trying to see if there was any more minerals that were worth having in the rock. They didn't find any. So they connected the two levels. We're gonna go down, and then this is gonna tie into another web work of, of different drifts. Yeah. Look at that, Max. That looks like a nice piece of timber. Yeah. There, somehow. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Keep coming. Wait, hold on. Can we say about this? Huh? Oh yeah. Watch out, there's a rock on that. That wants to go. Puffing and puffing. Puffing and puffing. Come on down, Max. Shake it. Shake that. Ooh, chica. Doing the mine shaft Ooh, hustle. <laughs> there's my sweetie coming down the shaft. Yeah, Max, I don't want to see that. Ah! Oh, that's oh I love seeing track in a mine. See that? Ah. Ooh. It was cold. Like, oh. You always follow a track. Oh. Yes, it's cool. Follow a track. Good idea. Oh, nice. nice. Follow that track, Max. Choo choo. <laughs> 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 These guys got lost. They don't know where their track's going. That's not going nowhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Look at this monker. Now, look at that. Size of those timbers in there. Do you see the rocks? And... Yeah, see the gobbing? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Those are huge. Hey, this is like a hubcap for an ore cart. Yeah, exactly. I'm missing one. Ooh. A grease cover. Yes. Yeah. And look at this gobbing in here. Isn't this just spectacular? Oh my God. All the time it took to stack this rock. And you can see all square set timbers that were used repurposed and just shoved in there. See the way they're notched? Mm -hmm. And this is cool how they got this set in here. Has a, <laughs> they just kind of nailed it to the side here. Look at this. 
Oh, this is good. <laughs> yeah, well, they look like they're going to start digging down. Look at the size of these timbers. Wow. And look at this. Wow. Crunchola. Oh my God. That means there's a lot of weight. Look back in there. You want to go back in there, Max? Sure. Look at that. Ooh, everything's squishified. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. The back looks good. And I got a chute. Well, I used to have a chute. I don't know. I get lost easy in here, Max. You're going to have to help me. Yeah. You see the timber, the pressure oh, yeah. on this monker right here? There's a pair of, oh, some just came in here later and they put this one in. See that? Mm -hmm. Because this guy was dropping. And if he drops completely, these are going to fall through. There's a lot of pressure and so there's a lot of pressure on that nail and that nail. That's pretty much it. Holding the back up. I know. Oh, that goes to um, carbide cam. Carbide cam? That's the top. I think it messed with the one way. And you can see where the they stuck their candle holders right here. So they have different eras of the paint in here, huh? Yep, exactly. The upper levels are the early years, and the lower levels are the later years. So they use carbide on the bottom. Okay. Ooh, look at that timber, Max. Yeah. Push on it. Uh, oh, look at this one. I think they said don't push on these in um, in videos. It could uh, collapse. But yeah, there's a lot of pressure going on in here. It looks like the mountain wants to come down. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Oh. Wow, see how they got these to hold this back? Because it's all squeezing in. Oh, there's a burlap sack. Gobbing. Huh? Gobbing that's coming out of here. This wow. Look at that, Max. Did you see that? Uh, try not to look at it. But... Look at that one. Wow. It's as big as your body. And it broke. And it so broke. What's that tell you? Well, you you ate your uh, your beans. Oh, that's a, used to be a a shoot like right there. Yeah, huh? so wow. Where does this go? It goes and hangs left, and it looks like uh, I don't know. What you... It just keeps going. And it follows, I, I don't know, I think it collapsed. The, the, and someone kind of just, you can see where people that have been squeezing in there. But we're gonna have to be on our bellies to get on in there. Turns into a mouse hole. Oh yeah, look at that. Where's it go, Mr. Max? It goes up. Ooh. It's pretty nasty. Look at all that weight. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool, Max. It is pretty impressive. Oh, look at the writing over there. What's over there? Like I said, it's a raise, goes up. Let me see. But it don't... Oh, there's a ladder. That ladder goes about six feet in the end. Hold on, let's take it in there. Oh yeah, it does go up. Look at that. Isn't that cool? What time is it now? It's time for you to... So that means... You damn pants! I can't! I have uh, suspenders on! Jump I came prepared! <laughs> I can't do it. Get the put the banjo away. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a carnival ride? Yes. No, it's the, it's the Queen of England cutting off it's your head. <laughs> off with your heads. Let them eat cake. And look who's operating it. Ah, uh, yeah. In English, I see. I naturally know how to use these guillotines. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's in our blood. It's a Cornish miner. So if yeah. you don't do what I say, off with your head. Uh, I hear voices. I hear voices. Ah, who's that? Ow. Then they marked everything out here. See this? Pencil line, pencil line, pencil line here. Okay, so we know to cut here, here, because this is the width of the timber. So this little guy will fit in here, which is called what? What is this called, huh? This pattern? If you guys know, I want the audio. Tell me what that is if you're a fart smeller or a smart feller. <laughs> Oh, 
no base. Maybe the base is back there, oh, Max. Oh, yeah. The one that you found buried? Yeah. That's very nice. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yes. That is awesome sauce. All right. Look at all those dots. Jeez. Just gobs and gobs. Yes. Tally marks. Is it old? Uh, yeah. Wow. Get out yeah, my mind. This is my mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 40 ounces a ton. I've been digging 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> toilet paper. Oh, toilet paper. Oh, that's kind of tight. Oh, yeah, that's real tight. Oh, it's a little tight, but we're going down anyway. Oh, it's so cold. I can feel the air blowing out of here. Huh, huh. Uh, I should have had my steak dinner. A little tight, a little tight. Walls are coming in. A little tight. Oh, it's cold. That's tight. That's tight. Max, can you come back? I forgot to film in you. Oh, come back up. Come in. Just All kidding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right, we're gonna try. Yeah, it is a little tight squeeze okay, for a big no. fella. Good. All right, I'm gonna give her a hand. Here, you want me to film or? Yeah. Film you guys. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Here's the fun part. Okay. Come on down. Keep dropping. Almost there. A little more. Oh. Right there. Okay. Now let this foot go. All right, drop. More. Right there, you're on, okay. Right there, kinda. Right there. There you go, you got it. PG, PG. Mm -hmm. Oh, I better hold on again. Oh, 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 I got you, I got you, oh. <laughs> and that's how we met. Wow. See the cut and fill? So th th that's just like a walk right up there, right? Well, or, no, uh, what it is is they started to stove up. Uh -huh. So they put this, all the waste material come down. Okay. They blast out the good stuff, haul that out. Then the next shot would be waste material. And as they do so, it just keeps going up, up, up and higher and yeah. higher. And so there could be a hundred feet of this above us. Crazy. And that's where they were working. But they would, they would do two separate blasts. One would be for the waste material and the other one would be for the ore. Uh -huh. So... And then they'd have, as they do so, they have to build a manway uh -huh. with cribbing going up yeah. after every blast. They put a, a big muck sheet over it, blast, and then they would use the, the cribbing technique to go up a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. That's why you see some of these manways that are, are, are boxed in, cribbed all the way up. Mm. And that's because that's how they would work it. <laughs> and this is the manway I was telling you about, Max. Oh, I want to see. So what they would do is... Yeah. You all right? Oh, no, I'm just making noises. Okay. <laughs> so one is a chute because you can see how rough it is uh -huh. from all the material falling down it. And then the other one is a man way. They would continue to cut and fill up. They would box this in and then box it in again. They'll continue to build this as they continue to drive that stope up. You see my point? And then that's why you have it look like this. So this goes way up. I'm going to go up there and take a look and see what it looks like up there. Now we're finding these all along this drift here because it's cut and fill. Like I told you, that's normal for them to do that. As they go up, they continue to extend this manway after every blast. But I'm going to go up there and take a look real quick. And I'll let you know if it's worth it. Wow, it's just solid rock behind this wood. <sighs> oh, it's tight. It's tight in here. Yeah, I had to go sideways. Oh, Me too, because... <sighs> 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 These manways are tight. <sighs> uh, dusty too. <sighs> <laughs> Fun. Yeah, it's fun. Mm. Uh, uh, Who needs a gym? Yeah. Just be a gold miner or explorer. <laughs> or both. 
I heard something move below me. Some rocks. Yeah, man, you're doing good. It's a clean, clean man. Yeah, very nice. Oh, if I get my legs to move. The ladder's in great shape. This, this must go out because I've got more, more airflow. airflow. Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of these up above me right now. <clears throat> oh man, you're making dust. You best believe that. Max is a macho man. He's got the body that's so good, it's always in demand. <laughs> Working at the car wash. Muscles glow. Jogging in the morning. Go, man, go. How do you like that, huh? Pretty good, like. <laughs> Wee. What are you doing in that little hole? Uh, hmm? I don't know. What are we? Why do we do this stuff? I don't know. Why do we like it? I don't know, but we're doing it a lot, coming up through the little hole in the ground. It's missing a rung right there. Yeah, you gotta work your booty. Work it real good, boy. Oh, okay. Who needs a gym, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just be a gold miner or gold mine explorer. Yes. Yeah, you're doing great, sweetie. Oh. These are nice little manways just built for us. Yeah. But some of them are missing. Oh, yeah, some of the rungs are missing. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, come on. You got a beautiful back there. You can just lean up against it. Mm -hmm. You brought a backpack. Yeah. Right the snacks. She's got the snack pack. Snack pack. <laughs> Look at the size of these timbers. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. millions and millions of little holes where they were sticking their their candle holders. You know how it's got the pin. I showed you what those look like. And I've seen places in this mine where there's just thousands of them. And then for the ore cars to get through, they had to trim these so they would fit. All right, we're gonna keep working this thing because it just keeps going on forever. Me pad check. Ooh. Piece of cake, huh, sweetie? Chocolate cake. Ow. Yeah, I want some chocolate cake. <laughs> what are you? Oh, yeah, the pack. Yeah, the left pack. You got it. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, don't want to fall down that. Oh, you can feel the air blowing up out of there. Feel that? Oh, yeah. Look where this is all shattered. So they put this timber here yeah. because this is all shattered and look what it's supporting. That guy right there. So all the weight is transferred from the cut and fill to this stall through this shattered rock into him. He's red. Yep. There's a lot of hematite staining. Got track on the floor, that looks nice, huh? Yes. I wish it could. Huh? Imagine if I have a ride. Ha! Yeah, that would be nice to have a ride, huh? Wow, it's, it's going forever. Yeah, it's like never ending, huh? Uh oh. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, it's an ore pass. Look at that shear zone. Go ahead, Max, show them the shear zone. Right here. Look at that. Super smooth. Look at that. That thing is huge. It goes all the way down. It's rubbing on mother, isn't it? Wow. Look at that. That is really cool. It's smooth as silk. <laughs> Beautiful timber section. Look at that. You can see the this moving positive airflow. That's cool. All right, going down, going down in the depths. Oh, that's vertical. Look at that ore. See that? See how crumbly it is? That's what they're chasing. Beautiful material. I have to take samples of that. Look at that. That's some later. Yeah, kick a rock in there and see what if there's any water. All right. There's a better one. Yeah.
Wow. I think it went to another level. I didn't hear water. No, there's no but water went, in this mine anyway. <laughs> wow, sweetie, look at the size of this, this cut here. Looks like they're getting ready to cut and fill this, huh? Yeah, this is getting ready to cut and fill. But the vein doesn't look that, doesn't look that mineralized, that juicy. But this is the start of a cut and fill process when you see these tall drifts. You can see where they were starting right here. Nice, nice looking setup. Look at that. I could do without the spray paint. Max, that's a, that's a little tight for you, isn't it? Yeah, truck you, drivers could... don't, don't huh? sit on their ground very good. Come on, was... you have to pull yourself up, you know that, right? Yeah, but... Ooh. Yeah, I know that one board is stuck in your back, huh? I think I... I think you broke it. Ripped something up. That was... We're going. All right. We're going. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Good job, Max. Get on up here and get some. It's all this upper body strength, you know. Pretty fly for a white guy. Ah, that's my line. <laughs> oh, man, it's tight. Yeah, there's that support timber that's stuck. Right, yeah, and it's right in your back. That is perfect. You're going to have to lay flat almost just to get out. <clears throat> Let me suck it in. Suck it in. No more steak dinners. No more steak dinners. No, maybe one or two. Yeah, you got it. Come on now. This isn't your first rodeo. Good job, Max. What's down there? Uh, about 80 or 90 foot drop. Everything is so unstable in here. Yeah. And it's all balancing on these on these rails. And you're you're basically gonna say that these rails are gonna protect you and from all this tonnage? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, they're, they're you're worked. risking your life on all that, huh? Yeah, That's pretty good. It's worked up till now, so yeah. <laughs> uh do you have a living will? <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it all to you. Uh, yeah. And the biscuits and crumpets. I'll probably lower that a little bit so it's not such an acute angle, but right. Yeah. Well, well I can't wait to, to see go. you go down on this. Cool beans, uh, yeah. Daddy-o. It's going to be good fun. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you be because I know you got a rig. Yeah, I've got to change some angles on here, make All it right. a bit more friendly. Cool beans. <laughs> you got to be kidding. Yeah, I'm hoping that we're using that to go down there. Oh, man. That's cool. Hey, you can see where they push the track together. They're using this as a skip. Should have brought my uh, skis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Max. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I'm so that glad in. that people spray painted too, so I know who was here. Oh, look at that, yeah. Why would you even bring it in here? Why would you happen to have that in your bag? Yeah, yeah. That is cool. See where the skip dumps up there? And they got the cable. Oh, yeah. Because the shiv wheel's way up there. So. Look at that. Is that from uh What do you think candy? that's from? It looks like they were huh? That's a lot of good job. Yeah. That's a lot of candle picking that's right there. Room. See that? Every time they come here, they put their little yeah, candle room. picks here in the timber and it creates this hole after about 10,000 of doing that. And look at that. There's there. They're over here. They're over here. They're all over the place. So this place is seen a lot. Look at this. Chick 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 chick. Just thousands and thousands of them. This place has seen a lot of traffic. Oh, and you still got the insulators up there. Look at that. Must have had a huge, huge hoist right here. Look at the framework in here. Old school. You don't see that anymore. This is like the framework you see down at the bottom of the mitzvah. I guess electric or steam or... Electric. Electric, huh? I guess speedy cavers going. Oh, this is 200 feet. That's it? Uh, or better. Or, or more. Oh, yeah. this is a 200? Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, this is So they're big. pulling ore out from the bottom of these huge, huge ore chutes that are on the bottom of the square sets. Right. Yeah, yeah somebody's using this for high grading. And Tony's just going to go down and see if we can clear this, this crap rope, and then we're going to take that out of the mine. Right, okay. Somebody pulled the shiv wheel. You can see where it was way up there. Used to catch it. Yep. Come on, stop swinging Wow, what's down know, there? A little bit about safety. Come on, there. go down the hole. Go on down. <laughs> yeah, look at him go. Yee-hoo! Oh, he don't mess around. No, he's good. See how he's bouncing? Yes. Right on down to that ladder. Go ahead, pull the ladder. I'll go down anyway. 
Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. That's better. Good job. There he goes. Ooh. Whee! Oh man, he don't mess around. On, He's at the bottom already. <laughs> Spider-Man. Yep, you're doing great. Look at you. Yeah, that's what I was doing too is I put my right hand on the timbers and I let the rope kind of go through my fingers as I go down. Look at that. There's the old ladder right there. There's the old ladder. Bunch of twine down on the bottom. Huge, massive chamber, huh, Mac? Yeah, make sure. I know, it's kind of hard to hold a ladder and your rope at the same time. Yes. No way. Okay. Step down with the other foot. Okay, you're on the bottom. Oh my god. How do you That's feel? Crazy. Isn't that cool? <laughs> we, we yeah, look at the square set behind you. Oh. Make sure you're not sitting on dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not joking. <laughs> no. Oh my god, we oh. did those dogs. Yeah, you did great, sweetie. We did. Nice job. Oh Good job. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. He's just waiting for somebody. Yeah. Oh, ow. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, my God. See this cribbing? This massive platform of cribbing. Isn't that cool? And all this timber is old growth. You can't get this anymore. Wow, square sets everywhere. Look at that. Mm. This is old growth timber too. You can't find this anymore. Look at that. Look at that. This is absolutely amazing. Look at all these timbers. And they got words written on them and letters so that they can cut them. There's an A over there and a C and a Y. So they cut the timbers outside, then they bring them in, they know how to assemble them. That makes perfect sense. Wow. There's a chute right here. You see it at the bottom? They collect all this material up. Oh, that is so cool. And there's your letters. There's your letters right there. See that? So there's a Y. You see the Y? Y, Y, all the way across. That way they can pre-cut them. There's another Y, another Y. There's a Z. And that way everything can be pre-cut outside and then reassembled. And then on this side, they have numbers. Wow, that is amazing. See how these timbers are cut? These have short notches in them and these have long notches in them. There's a reason for this cut, all right? So most of your force is coming in from the walls. So you put your timbers in this configuration. And if there's not a lot of force coming in from the sides, then you have the smaller notches. See how that works? That way, these are literally touching each other. It's a brilliant, brilliant design. And then the top timber can sit right inside of this hole. This notch here, here, can sit right inside of here. And we're going, where are we going, Max? Are we going down that hole? We're going down. All right, there we go. Sweet. Oh, look at the letters. See yeah, the Ds? I want you buy. This is at the bottom of the square set. Look at the size of those timbers. Oh my goodness, huge. Oh, that's come down. Oh, they repurposed that one. There's a letter on that one, too. Where are we going, Max? Down here? Down there. I don't know. Yeah, oh, uh, I hear somebody down there. Oh, I see somebody. What you doing down there, Max? You know, I'm uh, making it up as I go. It's kind of tight down there. Oh, no, it opens up. We got to, like, monkey on over. Monkey it. time. Ooh, I like your sticker. I love explosives. Dino, Dino Nobel. Oh, good job, sweetie. We're in the very bottom of the square sets, huh? Yeah. Where does this go? Uh, Look, it's Tony. Tony the Tiger. Hey. What are you doing down there? Oh, I'm just waiting for you guys. Are we on top of another square set? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. I'll be right down. Hey, what are you looking yeah, at my booty? Look at that Who's that up booty. there? But, uh, oh, he's catching looking. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. You got it. You gonna yeah, make sure you stay holding on to that ladder. 
Oh, hey, look, there's a bear on the cameras. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Can you imagine the man that was digging in here? Oh, doo -doo -doo. man. Do do do, just digging away. Reckon he was happy. Digging away. Oh, what's this loose material right here? Or did he spend the whole day cussing? Yeah, <laughs> I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, from like six o'clock in the morning till like six in the evening, just cursing all day. Now you're gonna go next, so Tony can help you're you. You're coming straight for this hole. Yeah, okay. What? I don't yeah. understand. What? Oh, I do understand. Right, pass it over here and hand it back up to me. Uh -huh. Oh, this is how we met. Whoa! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just go ahead and head back. Next! The camera's filming! Uh, oh, what a continuous sweep! Yeah! Uh, it just keeps going down and down. Wow! Superman! That's how you get down! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got the whole crew in here. Look at that. Oh, and you got a class fire too. Yeah. Cool beans. We're all here. Look at this little ore pass. Isn't that cool? They got a wheelbarrow here. And down to the next level. That is so cool. That's why this wood is here. Because they were running a wheelbarrow. And then here's your dots for all your different loads to go down this hole. That is so cool. All right, let's keep going. But I'm not gonna keep going unless you smash that like button. Smash it hard. Ooh, like I'm doing this. Mm, uh, ooh. Tony, what are you doing up there? Waiting for you guys down there. Oh, this is kind of cool in here. Ooh. Working their way up the square set. Yeah. Here, put your, your foot right here. Grab it, baby. Both hands. Oh, pull it, yeah. pull it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Following oh, you. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? I think she's gonna wee. Wee! Right. Okay, right on up. <sighs> Joanne, are you up there? She's uh, filming. Oh, I thought she was having lunch. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wanna get around that? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are right. You okay? That's what knee pads are for. Oh, oh can you do that? This mess. Do that again. I missed that. Oh. I can see your booty. Oh. <laughs> oh, you promised. I saw a chocolate starfish. Yeah. Do you want to take this back? They're still filming. Yeah. Have you seen how they've done this? This, this is, is amazing. Brilliant. You see this look? Yeah. They've cut the rail. Oh yeah. So they could get up through here. Because they had rail going across. They've actually timbered this so they could keep this passage open. I love this. Look at all the work. Wow. Yeah, they've widened it out and they've put in stalls everywhere. Yeah, we're underneath the mess. Yeah, they've put, uh, put this yeah. in just to keep that there and all of this. This is, oh, and they cut these too. Yeah. This has all been cut. So. Sixty years. Oh, 1961. Wow. So 60 years ago. So we have maybe 20 or 30 feet of collapse above us. Oh yeah. Because we're quite a way into that that slope. I've always seen pictures of this cut, but I never knew where it was. Wow. Thank you. There's the pipe too for air running right up in there. Yeah, and you can, oh, find, yeah. you can see these pipes up on the surface. Yeah. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Oh, that's so cool. You got all this graffiti up in here. I'm not sure what it says. I don't see any dates. Let me turn that off. But that is really old. Okay, now we're gonna go that way. That looks like 4-8 of 1903, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Look at all that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, an arrow. I think we know that's got to go this way. Oh, that's cool. A little, little work box. Look at that. That is so cool. 809. Got writing in here. Goldfield, Nevada. Frank Sitton. Yeah, it looks like Frank Sitton. Goldfield, Nevada. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Looks like it collapsed. Looks like we got to go up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
more square set more square set oh that is so cool i love these square sets huh sweetie yeah all right we're gonna work our way up that way now that is cool see the track see the square sets in here now that is cool look at that just gobs and gobs of square set timbering absolutely amazing there's track down there too look at that square set sweetie oh my god is that cool or what how pretty yep wow now that is cool and you can see the track down below see that Is this cool or what? This is, this is like a dream, oh. seeing this stuff. This is awesome. That is cool. You only see it in the history books. Yeah, I love the way this track just kind of winds around. You see that? Mm -hmm. From point to point to point. This is my favorite bit of square set. Always has been, I don't know why. And there's Tony up there hiding. He's uh, fixing it. He puts hey. pressure on. Yeah, I heard him. Look at that, and that just goes up underneath that big loose block of quartzite. Oh, cool. cool. Careful. Should I hit it with a hammer? Oh, yeah, hit it real hard. Real hard like. Wow. Right, right button. Real good. Hit it, uh, dynamite, real hard. That is cool, huh, Max? Oh, this is cool. That's what it's all about. And to think the room above us was nothing but this all the way up to the top. I wish I had all the ore they took out of here. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> And Pretty this, cool, huh? This level will intersect with the incline that Tony went down. Oh, cool. So with a little bit of, little bit of uh, moving around and stuff, right. and squirming, we're going to get to... Uh, oh, Tony's repairing the... Sh putting the uh, shims, back in. shims in. Or what's called as a miner's wedge. So he's, he's, what he's doing is he's reinforcing weak spots to make sure this stays intact. And he does that a lot. He'll repair mines, repair ladders... Uh, sets, square sets, everything. I, I can't help it. He does a good job. I love it. So you can thank him for some of these mines still being in place and intact. At least some of the timber work. Because all it takes is a little bit of this to get loose and the whole thing. Yeah, and it'll fall down like a house of cards. Yep. Because that's all it is, is just timber loosely held together with pressure. Wow. Cool beans. Yeah. Oh, I love the way that track does that. That is so cool. See the switch down there? That is so cool. See that? Isn't that a cool shot? Look at that. You don't see this every day. Wow, look at this huge slab quartzite trying to come free. Somebody lit a fire in here. Really? This is unbelievable that somebody would be that stupid if you don't like rants you might as well just skip past the next minute or so but i can't believe somebody wrote down into this lower level amongst all this old old timber and made a fire what are you an idiot who would do that really seriously this is what really gripes me and i don't care if i get dislikes or not this is stupid this is stupid really all right come on through sweetie oh look at this isn't this cool yeah. All right, now the audio on my camera stopped working for some unknown reason. Not exactly sure why. But here we are at a junction at the main haulage shaft. Um, this one goes down for another 400 feet. And you can see the, uh, the loading chute right here for the skip car. A man would sit down there and wheel that open and feed the skip car. Uh, then the skip car would go up these tracks all the way up to the top where you saw us at initially to dump into that huge ore bin and then you have another operator on the other side here now you can see all this beautiful uh miners graffiti that's in here some of it's old some of it's not so old and you can see where somebody's been cleaning material where max is sitting now here is the uh where they put the candlesticks into the post you can see where it's been gnawed away for years and years and years 
Now we're headed back to the square set and you can see all the numbers and letters written on the posts and the beams and the girts uh, so they can easily assemble it. Here we're coming up into the ballroom again. There's the zigzag ladder that we got to go back up to get out of this massive chamber. Here Max is trying to <laughs> finagle his way up onto it. As you can see, there's like a three and a half foot step. It's kind of hard to get your foot up onto that first rung. And uh, for short people like myself and my wife, it's really hard to get up there because you're standing on a platform and the ladder moves around. And if you can get your first step up, then the rest of it's really easy. And of course, with ropes holding you in place, you're not going to fall. But it's just wonky to have to climb up a ladder that goes to the side and, and that's slightly inverted. Just additional help because I've only got one side of her. Okay. All right, sweetie. So the idea is to get one of your feet up there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my knee here for a step. Are you sure, sweetie? Yeah. And you're just going to mm -hmm. step up on my knee. Right foot here, left foot there. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, let me put my... Uh -huh. I know, it's a step. Okay. There you go. Got Good. it? All right, hold on. Let me get the sock out of your rope. You're on. Okay. It's all yours now, Sidney. All right. Arm around it? Perfect. Yeah, just climb up. I'm going to keep some tension on your rope so you don't bind up, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can go up anytime you want. Thank you. Just climb the ladder. The first part's a little spooky because it's sideways. <laughs> and you're doing it exactly like I do it. I, I hug that ladder. Yep. And then one step at a time. You're doing great, sweetie. Just one step at a time. Keep going. All right. The rope's got you. So no, nothing's going to happen to you no matter what. All right. Now, wait. Try to get the rope in up over that nail on your right hand. Right hand. See that where the rope is up by the nail? Yeah. Get that off of that. Okay. There you go. Yes. You're gonna, it's going to straighten out here in a second and yeah. feel much better. All right. Yeah. So right now, because the rope's trying to go to the right. You see that? I see. There you go. Beautiful, sweetie. Now that the ladder's straightened out, it feels a little bit more natural, <sighs> a little bit more comfortable. Just focus on going up. There you go. Hang on. Yeah. All right, take your right hand and put get that rope into the middle if you can of the ladder. See with the rope? Yeah, get that into the middle. There. Beautiful. Yeah, you're all, all there, sweetie. All right. You're doing wonderful. <clears throat> Almost there. Hey, who's that? Phew. How you doing, sweetie? Doing good. I'm yeah, okay, look man. at my little baby climb. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Look at the zigzag ladder. Yeah, look at that ladder in this huge. Wow, look at the side of that gig. Oh. Hey, Leela, when you're ready. Uh -huh. Just pull the rope over from the side of the ladder. Yep. So it's in front of you. There you go. Kind of lasso it over that. Yeah, you might have to whip it over. Yeah, whip it good. You can see the huge open chasm where all the square sets have collapsed. That whole chamber was full of square sets. Here I'm going down a shaft that connects to another series of workings and then I'm actually on top of a very large stope. Huge, huge chamber. And this one only drops down about maybe 25, 30 feet. Uh, but still, it'd be a nasty fall if one of the rungs or the ladder were to break. But it's not deep enough to where you need rope. So it's easy to get down. And you'll see a lot of these shafts, which are called winzes, all throughout this mine. They're everywhere. And they're a lot of fun. Uh, to manipulate between the different levels. Here is one of the uh, open stopes, uh, huge, huge chambers where they blast it up into one of the drifts. Can you imagine walking along a drift and fall into that? So you got to be careful when you're in these old abandoned mines. <laughs> wow, I do see daylight. Look at that. Oh, it's a good part before. Yeah. Right? Yep. Oh, no. 
Wow. Hey. Yeah, is it Very nice. We did find our way out. We just met with uh, Yeah. We came with, with Christopher and Joanne. Yep. Well, we can breathe a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful view. Yeah. Heck yeah. Look at that view. That little tiny tunnel you wouldn't think would go that far in. I can breathe again. Wow, look at all the mine dumps on the hill. Look at this cool little building. Cool, they did a good job on this. You see that? Where's the Benny Hill music? Huh? There we go. We had a fun explore and we were underground for well, quite a while. Hours yeah. and hours. Hours and hours. Yeah, These close. guys found uh, new sections of the mine and I'll leave a link down to Joanne's channel because she's going to have video that's nobody's ever seen in a hundred years. Yep. And don't forget about my wife, Leela. She has her own channel called Leela and Jeff. That's right. <laughs> can, can you remember that? Leela and Jeff, huh? Why did you call it that? I don't know. I, said, I was thinking Jeff and Leela. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get on out of here. If you like what you saw today, you better smash that like button and of course leave us all a comment. And if there's something else you want to see, you got to let us know that too. Yeah. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? Speedy Kaiva, Joanne, Lila, and me, Crazy Boy, saying <laughs> you like these Mind Explorer videos? Well, we do too. Keep on watching, boy, because we got more just for you. So come on, let's, let's go! go!